Today, I am going to break down one of the most explosive, exciting, and innovative offenses in NCAA history and show you how you can run it in Madden 22. Chip Kelly took the Oregon Ducks from a middling football program to one of the preeminent powerhouses in the sport and created an offense that will go down as one of the most iconic of all time. Now, even though Chip Kelly installed a spread offense at Oregon, this was different because their first priority was running the ball. They revolutionized how college football looked at the run game with their spread to run offense, unlike a spread to pass scheme like the Aaron. The first pillar of this offense and the thing that will be crucial for you to have success running this scheme is having speed all over the field. Kelly put a huge emphasis on making sure he had athletes everywhere and ensuring the defense had to account for every player on the field. The next key is going to be spreading out your offense. This is going to allow you to get your athletes out in space with as much room to operate as possible and by spreading out our offense we are going to force the defense to match us and spread out. For this scheme we will be using the spread playbook and if you play mutt it is called pass balanced. Now there are three stars of this offense that you want to nail down to ensure you are going to have the most success possible. The first is our quarterback and this is going to be the Marcus Mariota for our scheme. We want speed at this spot to make people worry about his running. This will open up a ton of options for our offense and at this spot you definitely want a throwing ability like set feet lead, pass lead elite or gunslinger to ensure you can squeeze balls into tight windows all over the field. The second star of this scheme is going to be our slot receiver. This player will get the ball a ton on bubble screens and in the short passing game. He needs to be as dangerous as possible when he gets the ball in the open field. The player in this role that excelled the most at Oregon was DeAnthony Thomas. He was lightning quick and would line up all over the field ready to catch swing passes and bubble screens and take them for house calls. For abilities in this spot, I use route tech to get easy separation against man coverage and then I use jukebox so he is even more dangerous with the ball in his hands. Then our third star is our running back. He will be getting the ball a ton on inside handoffs but he will also be catching swing passes and quick passes underneath. He must have speed and the ability to make people miss in the open field. The player who dominated in this role at Oregon was LaMichael James and he was an absolute beast in this scheme having some incredible seasons during his time at Oregon. For abilities here I also use jukebox just to ensure when we get the ball in space we are as dangerous as possible. Now if you want to run this scheme in regs I would recommend using either the Ravens or the Cardinals. Best mix of an athletic quarterback with speed and playmaking all over the field. Now in this video we are going to focus on these four formations and a total of 10 plays. Now starting off with the run game this is going to be the backbone of this scheme. This is the concept that really put Kelly's offense on the map and made them so difficult to handle. This is an inside zone read option play with a bubble screen on the outside. This is going to give us three options on the play. The first part of this play is the read option component and because we have an athlete at QB we will force them to respect the QB or we will bust it to the outside for huge gains. But if they do play the QB that allows us a numbers advantage in the run game and will open up the inside zone. Then if they start bringing extra people in the box or players are cheating to jump inside to the run you can get it quick outside to our bubble screen for huge gains. We'll be running two versions of this with the first being the RPO read double screen in doubles Y flex offset. Then the second version is RPO read bubble in doubles offset week. For this play we're going to motion our tight end across the formation into this unique H back roll. He will become a lead blocker up the middle but this motion will also be huge in the passing plays we are going over later in this formation. So this video is just a quick snapshot of my entire Oregon spread scheme. The whole scheme includes 14 videos and hours of breakdowns. This is going to be one of the most extensive offenses you will ever find. So if you want to see even more plays that do deep dives into so many more setups, I will leave a link for the entire playlist down in the description below. Then if you want to unlock even more of this scheme, I have nine more videos up on my website, Scheme Kings. And I also have an in-game play call sheet allowing you to keep track of all the plays in game and stay organized with your game plan. So if you really want to unlock this whole scheme and run one of the most explosive creative schemes in Madden, 
I will leave a link to Scheme Kings down in the description below as well. Now hopping into Spread Flex and we are going to start with Y Cross. This is one of Chip Kelly's go-to concepts and really a staple of a spread passing game. For this play, I always come out with the running back to the short side of the field and the only adjustment is putting the wide side slot on a hitch. Now we want to look to the hitch right away and if they are bringing a blitz where everyone is dropping back deep into coverage, we can just quick throw this underneath. Then you want to look at the deep cross and if the user leaves the middle of the field, you can quick throw it over the middle or you can wait and the hitch is going to pull down zone defenders and you can throw it in over the zone defenders heads for big gains. Then if the cross isn't open, look to the spot route on the backside. This route does a great job of sitting in the soft spot and zone coverage for easy pickups. Then lastly, if the flat defender is dropping underneath the spot route, look to the running back in the flats as a check down underneath. The next play we're looking at is mesh and this is another staple in a spread offense. For this play, we want the running back to the wide side and the only adjustment I make is put the slot receiver on the wide side on a street. I really love this play against cover three. Our first read is this seam ball. If the safety is late rotating over and the seam is uncovered, just quick throw it right away. Then if that is not there, focus on the flat defender. Now, if he stays inside to jam the seam route or he jumps down to the running back underneath, we want to throw to that outside corner route as he breaks. But if the flat defender jumps out to the corner route, look to the running back in the flats for a quick hitter. Then lastly, if the front side of the play isn't there, we have this backside drag that actually sits down against zone coverage and gives us a really nice check down underneath. Okay, now we're hopping over to doubles offset week and looking at the play sale. Always for this formation, we want the double side to the wide side and then we want to take our tight end and motion him across the field. And he is going to come to this really unique H back spot. Then the only other adjustment is take the outside wide receiver on the double side and put him on a streak. Then you're going to read the front side of the play first and we just have a nice sale concept. So look to the flat defender and if he stays back, throw the running back underneath. And if he comes down to the running back, you just want to throw the corner up along the sideline over his head. Then if neither of those is there because they're double flatting or the user jumps to that side of the field, look to the dig route over the middle. And if that isn't there, then we have this tight end on the whip going to the opposite flats that you can throw as an easy check down underneath. Next, we have PA bubble Y over, and this is going to be a great play to push the ball deeper down the field for us. So same thing, motion the tight end across the field, and you're going to see he's in this nasty deep corner route. And then the only other adjustment is take the slot receiver and put him on a slant. Now this play is when we want to push the ball deep down the field, and we want to wait for this corner route to get deep down the field and just hit it along the sideline. And if that isn't there, we have the flat and the slant route on the other side of the field. And this is just going to be a high low read on the flat defender. If he bites down on the running back, throw the slant. And if he stays back, throw to the running back underneath. Okay, now let's hop back into doubles Y flex offset and look at the play fork wheel. This is going to be a great man beating play for us. For this play, come out with the running back to the short side of the field, then put your slot receiver on the wide side on a whip route, then put your running back on an out route. Now first look to the whip underneath and if they have no flat defender out there and he gets separation, just quick throw it underneath and get it into a playmaker's hands. Then if that isn't there, look to the running back out of the backfield once again and if there is no flat defender, just get it out to the running back quick underneath. Then if they have multiple flat defenders taking away those short routes, we want to look to this corner route on the short side of the field. If he gets separation, throw after break. Then if we really want to push the ball down the field, if they have multiple flat defenders, they are going to have no safeties back and this is when we can hit this post over the top as long as the user isn't playing over the top and taking it away. Okay, so now for one of Kelly's favorite concepts at Oregon, the HB swing pass. He loved this as an option to get one of your best players in space with tons of room to operate. For this play, just watch the user unless he gets a crazy jump outside. When this running back motions out, we will just fire it to the outside and allow our running back space to break tackles and pick up huge plays. Then if the user does get crazy aggressive, then we can just hand it off up the middle for easy yards. Then the counter off this play will be motion Y cross. For this play, we just have one adjustment. Take the running back who isn't motioning across the field and put him on a swing pass to the short side of the field. Now with this play, we are just taking advantage of an over aggressive user. And when he leaves the middle of the field, we can just throw this cross over the middle for easy yards. Then if that isn't there, we have this dig route coming in behind it, giving us multiple options over the middle. Then if at the snap, everyone is just dropping back and the user stays in the middle of the field, we can just throw this swing pass going to the short side of the field and pick up quick yards underneath. Okay, so now let's bomb cover three and cover two. So we are going to go back to spread flex and the play is PA deep outs. For both setups, have the running back to the short side of the 
field. Then for cover three, put the slot on the short side of the field on a hook, then put the outside receiver on the wide side on a drag or a slant. Then after the snap, just wait for the post to pass the middle safety and you can just fire this in for a deep bomb over the top. Then for cover two, put the short side slot on a slant and put the wide receiver on the wide side on a slant as well. Then snap the ball and both safeties are gonna get pulled to the outside and you will be able to split them for an easy walk in cover to one play touchdown. Having an explosive, exciting offense that you know you will be able to rack up points with is great, but none of this is gonna matter if you can't get stops on defense. So if you wanna learn how I think you need to play defense in order to have success in Madden 22, you need to watch this video right here.